Hello everyone, and welcome back to Berlin Noir. It has been about three and a half months since the last episode of this series. We've of course been uh, working on Winden, the not so many mini series, and that's taken a crap ton of time, uh, much longer than I expected with that. But uh, for those of you that forgot, and all of you that are new, we left off previously in the series with Charlottenburg Palace. So as you can see here, just a quick little overview there. I laid down the palace and all the paths throughout uh, the garden. But the actual garden itself, I never really did any detailing because it was a big project. And uh, I believe that episode was close to a half hour just doing all that by itself. So yeah, this, you can imagine uh, doing that combining with actually detailing the garden and all that uh, it would have been way too much for an episode so i decided to break it up into two uh two parts right part one being the laying down of all the paths and the bigger things and then of course this one being more of the detailing but i didn't really expect a wind in to take as long as it did like i said three and a half months uh that definitely wasn't intentional uh, one reason I, it happened to be, you know, longer than expected is, is just because, you know, I was enjoying it, people were enjoying it, and it was type, it's a type of series that was generic enough that, you know, it could pretty much go on however long you wanted. Uh, but really another reason, which is kind of more important, is for a while, my, uh, uh one of the websites I use for Berlin Noir, uh, from Tagesspiegel, the, uh, aerial view from this time period, which... Without it, I mean, the series would not be half of what it is. And, uh, yeah, so that website, was, I couldn't access it. I was getting security errors uh, with Google Chrome, and other people were having the same issues. Uh, there was a workaround using everyone's favorite browser, Internet Explorer, but, of course, Internet Explorer sucks. And, I mean, I'm getting security, you know, warnings, so even though, you know, I imagine it was just some weird issue going on you know i guess it's best not to take risks when you get warnings from google saying someone might be able to access your information so i yeah because of that because i couldn't actually use that i decided to postpone uh returning to berlin noir a little longer and take my time in the mini series so yeah those those two reasons combined to you know really why we've been out of or where we haven't been working on the series for so long but so for everyone who's been wondering, you know, when Berlin Noir was coming back or if I'd be even returning back to it, yes, we are now back uh, for good, or at least, you know, for however many months until I think of a new miniseries, which I definitely want the next miniseries to actually be, you know, a miniseries, not uh, 10 plus episodes, something closer to five or less. So, but nothing, no plans as of yet with that. So for however many months into the future, we will be working on Berlin Noir. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I know many of you are as well. Uh, but yeah, there's a few things I want to get to in this episode. Uh, not just regarding the actual episode itself, but just kind of logistics. Uh, important stuff to let you guys know. But I do want to mention just, you know, what we've been doing on screen since I've been talking for a little bit and haven't really mentioned what we've been doing uh, in this episode so far. What, uh, But, uh... Yeah, so starting off, just detailing the front of the palace. I guess this would still be card called part of the garden, I guess, even though, you know, the garden is mostly just behind the palace. But uh, this little area here is cool. I'll throw up a picture on the screen. Uh, this picture, I think, is from the 1920s, if I remember when I was Googling it, trying to find stuff. Uh, and it's... I don't know, it's just a cool little monument looking area. It's got those two pillars with the statues on top. Uh, I happen to be subscribed to these, uh, or to that asset already. I don't know what it's from, absolutely no idea, but it looks similar, so I used it. And then, of course, just a little, uh, you know, statue right there with a the horse and someone riding. Just to kind of make it look similar. I think it came out pretty good. But, uh, like, that's something there that I totally would have missed if it weren't for the actual you know, image on the, uh, on Google that I came across, because with, when I was looking at this garden, and just the palace, every, just this entire area, really, on the aerial view, uh, it's of course black and white, you know, all the way from, taken from, you know, balloons all the way back in the 20s, 
and considering that the quality is really good but nonetheless it's still from the 20s from a camera up in a balloon so it's definitely limiting and I had no idea this was here like I now that I know like now that once I knew it existed I could see it but I totally would have skipped this and just gone with something simple you know just some you know paths maybe a little statue and some bushes like this nothing more right but when, it, one thing I've noticed when I was, you know, detailing this entire area was it's hard to really capture the level of detail in this, in the, in the palace and the garden areas, because you know, from an, you know, aerial perspective, again, it's hard to notice those details, right? Because there's a ton of trees. You'll see, uh, I don't really place any trees. At least, I, okay, I place some, but considering how many trees are actually that I eventually place, I hardly place any on camera, I should say. So, like, you'll see eventually, of course, in the cinematics, how many trees there are. And uh, at this time, the garden was a little different uh, than it is today. Uh, the main area of the garden, at least in modern in modern times, right, if you go there today, uh, right outside the back, right outside the back side of the palace, you have a nice garden with some flowers and, you know, colored rocks and stuff and make cool patterns. But back then, you didn't have that. You just had really just a green patch of grass, some trees, and some paths meandering their way through. So what I did, and I mentioned this all the way back uh, with the episode when I first laid out the paths, but of course I'll mention again since that was such a long time ago. But what I did was kind of combine a few different things. So the paths that I laid out are more similar to today. But also, they resemble the paths as they were originally when the palace was first built. So here's a picture of it back in 1717. As you can see, it looks you know, brand new just about, uh, and it's because it is. Uh, and it's very neat, very nice, everything's well manicured. Small trees, paths you can see, it looks really nice, right? But of course, over time, things grow, things change. And at some point in time, I don't know when, because can't find it in pictures, I can't really find it, you know, just googling it, probably because it's not a super important thing, right, and definitely not something that the average person would be googling, so that's why it's, I'm sure it's so hard to find, but yeah, at some point, they got rid of that kind of just central piece in the garden, of uh, the paths and the waterfall in the middle, and just replaced it with grass, really, grass and trees, which is a little surprising, uh, I, yeah, I would have expected it to go the other way around, right, uh, maybe be simpler, and then over time, it gets, you know, stuff gets added to it and it gets nicer, uh, you know, uh, fancier paths, different flowers, whatever it may be. So, yeah, I didn't really want to make it so plain like that. Even though that is technically historically accurate, that is how it was uh, back in the late 1920s. I wanted to, you know, make it look a little nicer, so that's why I was saying I kind of combined different eras into one, you know, thing. So drawing from different time periods to create mine. Uh, but yeah, so you'll see later when I detail that if you were to look at the aerial view, because you can always go to the link in the description uh, for Tagesspiegel. That's the website or it's, uh, that's the place I go to for the aerial view. You can always click on that and you know if you want to follow along with me, look at where I'm building, see what I'm doing differently or the same. You know, definitely do that. It's a nice little added bonus that uh, you get to have uh, with this series. So. But yeah, so with that, if you looked, you would notice that what I'm doing at times in different places is definitely different than what actually existed uh, back then. Including this little area here uh, with these small houses or small buildings. Uh, this is just, you know, due to the scaling, since this is not a one-to-one -one recreation of Berlin. Uh, just, you know, it'd be kind of hard to do considering the availability of assets. But, you know... At times, such as this, there's areas that kind of get scaled a little weird. And while this area in general, I scaled pretty decently uh, relative to the rest of the area and the city as a whole, that one side had some larger areas, which, you know, I just kind of had to fill in with stuff. And I didn't want to just throw in some more trees, so I decided to put some small buildings. Since back then, there were actually buildings just like that at the front side of the palace, which today there is nothing on the front side of the palace. Uh, it's just, you know, grass, trees, paths, looks nicer. But back then, there was a small strip of buildings, not really sure what they were. Uh, if they were just maybe, you know, fancier things, so maybe some hotels or what, I, I have no idea. 
but there were some things there which looks a little weird but you know of course i built that since that was how it was back then but yeah so that's again i just put those couple buildings there just to kind of fill in some space and not just throw down some trees but uh so now we are on this is the left side the left the front left side of the palace and uh Back then, this was a pretty simply, you know, detailed area. Uh, really just kind of an open grass area uh, with looked to be some statues there in the center. So I put those, the paths I mimicked to be the same as well. And then just to add a little more detail, I put these small little bushes, since I like that look, lining paths like this. Uh, since it really looks kind of weird in this game to leave open grass areas. You know, of course, you could, de I mean, if you could detail them with dirt decals, some small bushes, make, make it look a little more wild, right, then it looks fine. But, of course, that wouldn't fit in here since this is supposed to be a really nice, well-manicured uh, area. So, I just decided to line it with those small bushes and then place these small trees, which uh, ha did happen to be there all the way back then. But, yeah, so here are those uh, houses that I mentioned that were at the front of the palace uh, yeah, that's again, it looks a little weird, honestly, uh, in screenshots, pictures, I try to avoid them, but again, we're going for accuracy whenever I can, and that's something, even though it may look weird, it's easy to recreate, and it is, after all, how it was back then, so that's, uh, why I did it, but, uh, I guess, before we get into more of the detailing of the actual garden part, uh, which will be in a little bit, but I wanted to mention one thing regarding... Uh, I guess the future of the channel, uh, logistics coming up. But I'll let my patrons know already so they kind of have a heads up of what I'm going to discuss here. But I uh, actually started a new job uh, three weeks ago. Uh, I had training and such, but now I'm actually getting into the work. And yeah, it's you know, any anytime you introduce something new to your schedule, it's such as a job like this. You know, it, and you know, I, I can't prioritize YouTube as much as I would like. Or I was able to beforehand. So right now I'm trying to, of course, continue the videos and apps and don't take this as like you know I'm not saying you um, Berlin Noir is done. Uh, at worst case scenario, uh, if I'm unable to you know work this into my schedule, which I do believe I will be able to, but worst case scenario, if I can't, you know, a video every other week. But again, that's worst case. What I'm thinking is I'm just gonna need to kind of adjust myself. Uh, get a nice schedule going where I can fit everything in without, you know, of course, uh, you know, <laughs> overdoing myself. Uh, since that's, you know, that uh, that's kind of the worst thing. Uh, it happens, of course, all the time with YouTubers, uh, re regardless if they play this game or not. But, you know, they, this, this, of course, isn't my job, right? Um, this is just more or less a hobby of mine. Nothing really more than that, just sharing my creations with all of you. So... I can't always prioritize it as much as I would like to, but it's also a very creative strain at times. Uh, so going from work and to something like this, you know, sometimes it is simply not in the mood to deal with, you know, having to recreate something and look up, research all the pictures and history of an area, since it's a lot of work that goes into all this. So yeah, I just want to let you all know that that's, you know, what's going on right now. I, like I said, I do think not much, in not much time, I'll be able to work a schedule in. And be able to, you know, get back to weekly uploads, no problem, nothing wrong. But worst case, maybe for the next month, maybe two, I might be, you know, uploading every other week. So yeah, just let you know. But again, it likely won't be a big deal at all. But so anyways, just wanted to cover that. But yeah, so I guess back to what we're doing here. Uh, this was really fun, this detailing here, and quite satisfying actually. Uh, as you saw at the very start, I added some more paths to it, and it wasn't centered, right? I, I'm pretty sure I intended to have this be centered when I laid the paths all the way back in that first episode. But I noticed when I re upload the save, or reloaded the save, I was like, this is definitely not centered. And I could have messed around with it, but there was just too, too many paths leading from that that were main paths that I would have changed. So I just decided to leave it a little off-centered, and just connect the pass there in the center and honestly it kind of made a cool looking shape and pattern uh like that's something that i just never would have created on my own right the only reason that happened is because just kind of by necessity right i kind of had to since it wasn't centered 
So I really like how that turned out. And then putting down all these hedge networks uh, just was, like I said, it was very satisfying for everything to come together. And uh, yeah, more than usual, I guess I should say, which is why I uh, left the entire thing in. Normally something like this, I maybe would have left in part of it and then kind of skipped it closer to the finished product. But I wanted to leave the entire thing in just so you can, you know, I'm sure many of you will find it equally uh, fun to watch and, you know, the progress from just having that open area with some simple paths to what we uh, built there just a second ago. But so, moving on from that area, this is where we are now. This is the area that I mentioned earlier in the video where I combined basically different eras, right? So, the fountain there existed all the way back when the garden was built. At some point, it was removed. Uh, I'm guessing after World War II, whenever this area was rebuilt, they probably added the fountain back in. But again, I don't actually know since I can't actually find any pictures of, you know, that frequently so I can compare it by, you know, decades or whatever. So, but yeah, so I did consider making it a little more like it is today where I mentioned there's some fancy uh, patterns and stuff with rocks and flowers and make cool shapes and such. Again, uh, if you just go on Google Maps and look at the pa uh, palace here, you'll see what I'm talking about. But again, the reason I didn't do that is because, well, for one, I should say it, it's obviously a lot more work. Um, this is already a ton of work uh, detailing this entire area. And again, you know, with my work and schedule, I was a little more pressed for time, but I of course wanted to do it right, which is why you know I didn't upload a video last week. I, I might have been able to, but I didn't want to rush it. I want to make this as good as I could, since obviously this is a really nice area, and I wanted to do it justice. But yeah, so I just kept it simple. I did put those flowers lining the center walkways there, and then I believe uh, if, if you look at the or, may, or no, this was from the view from, yeah, the 1700s. But there are some trees lining the paths here like this that I'm doing. So I wanted to do that since that's nice. Uh, it looks nice. But I was kind of uncertain of what I wanted to f fill in these little areas, right? I wasn't going to just leave it grass, even though I suppose I could have. I mean, there's definitely gardens such as this, where there's just stuff lining the paths, bushes, trees, hedges, whatever, and then kind of nothing in the air at middle. But what I decided to do was make this air, make the add the trees, which is what the this area looked like back in the 1920s. So I'm a little, I don't know, I'm a little uncertain of that, how it looks. Uh, give me your opinion if you like it. Uh, again, that is the trees like that, just kind of sporadic, just laid, laid, randomly laid in that area. That is accurate to the garden uh, back in the 1920s, so that's why I decided to do that. But combining that look with the nice paths and the fountains, maybe that was the wrong choice. I'm not really sure. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. I might change that, uh, of course, off camera since... I kind of want to move on from this since this was a very long, lengthy project for sure. Very time consuming, but yeah, let me know what you think and I will see what I can do with that. But so yeah, moving on from that, what we have going now is I wanted to do one thing on camera where I detail the riverbanks, you know, very, you know, very detailed, show it on camera because obviously there's rivers kind of and ponds kind of meandering through the garden. And there's a lot of riverbanks, there's a lot of land on the water. And it's definitely not possible, I mean, I mean, it's possible I suppose, but it's not reasonable to detail every single inch of that, right? Uh, what I'm doing here, right, I'm adding uh, the kind of grassy weeds look at the water uh, edge. So you can, you know, that looks like weeds or whatever growing out of the water, right? Since that's a nice look and that's of course accurate. I wanted to capture that in some way, um, but I don't really do that in many other places. I just do that in areas that I want to capture, you know, for cinematic videos or pictures, uh, you know, because it, it really comes down to just framing, you know, the shots, right? Uh, you, you can't reasonably detail every single area, you know, like this in the garden. 
uh, equally. You have to sacrifice some areas for the sake of time, you know, or FPS, whatever, whatever it is. So, but like I said, I wanted to have one area that I detailed on camera and I detailed very nicely. And I just determined it to be this area since this is uh, the only island in the, at least any only sizable island. There might be others that are small that I didn't notice. This is the only sizable island in the garden and it's got some nice little paths there. Uh, later I placed some statues in the center and yeah, this looks nice. Uh, it's a little more secluded, like I said, since it is an island, it's surrounded by trees. It looks like a really nice area. But yeah, so like I said, I wanted to really try and capture that waterfront look. I added those dirt decals just to kind of differentiate the water level with the grass since, I don't know, I thought it kind of looked a little under detailed just having the grass, you know, texture go straight into the water. Even though that's not necessarily unrealistic, I wanted something there to just kind of show a border where the water line would be. So I decided to go with that. I uh, used these grass tufts to just place around the entirety of the island. Uh, just, you know, a really simple way to just kind of cover some, you know, cover some space without really doing too much work. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, simple enough, I suppose, but... It, this type of work, I mean, as you can see, this is fairly time consuming. We've been on here for several minutes for such a small area. So, like I said, it's not feasible to do this across the entire garden. Even if I did a lot of that camera, or even if I did a lot of that stuff off camera. Because, as I already mentioned, I did a good amount of stuff off camera. Most of that was just placing trees, since there's a ton of space that needs to be covered in trees. Obviously not the most interesting thing in the world to watch. So I did all that type of stuff off camera, with the exception of this area and some of the areas uh, before this with the garden that I did uh, do on camera with just placing trees. But for the most part, that was all done off camera, which you'll see a jump in a couple minutes or so where, because as you see, the entire area surrounding this is just, you know, no trees, nothing, just grass. Uh, but eventually, in a minute or so, that'll change. Everything will be pretty much covered in trees. Uh, so there is a big jump there, but as far as detailing goes, there's not really much of a jump. But that's kind of what I was going for earlier when I mentioned that it's it's hard to capture the detail that's in this garden, right? Since so much of this area is just covered in trees, you're missing out on that ground level detail. And that's just, you know, the nature of this park, the nature of the garden. Uh, really, you're not obviously. Obviously, if you go there, you're not enjoying it from above. You are enjoying all the, you know, the nature and some small statues, the water, the river, uh, the plants growing, some of the more wild areas. And that's obviously what you go to see and just walk around. But yeah, it's hard to capture that because so much of that is just covered in trees or hidden. So you're missing out when I, you know, when I uh, build uh, the when I'm building it. So. Yeah, that's, I was expecting to do more detailing, but yeah, like I said, it was just hard to do because I didn't really know what to do because I couldn't really see anything. So I just kept it to really only a few areas, such as that island that we just did and uh, this area, which I totally forget what this is. I'm not sure if it's some sort of mausoleum type thing or not. I honestly don't remember. I uh, probably should have looked that up to refresh my memory because three and a half months is a long time to uh, remember something like that. But I do remember that to build that little building there, I used the Noya Vaja building and I converted it to PO and just did some stuff to make it smaller, remove some pillars and such just to make it look like it's not that same building. Plus, it is, it is a lot smaller than the actual asset that I used. But uh, yeah, just again, doing some simple detailing using these tufts again in areas along the paths where there's an opening. Because up close, those tufts honestly look pretty good. From a distance, they kind of have a weird LOD at times. But up, up close, they're pretty decent. So this is going to do it for today's episode. And I hope you all enjoyed the first episode back to Berlin Noir. Uh, and I hope you're all looking forward to more because a lot more are coming But definitely give me your ideas of what you want to see built next because I really have no plans I don't really know what I'm gonna do next. So let me know what you want to see uh, Rather be built for the first time or you want me to revisit an area, whatever it is. Let me know and yeah I will see you all in another video